even in the midst of many storms, we have the capacity to stand in the center of our own peace. You have the capacity to stand in the center of your own peace. Good morning. It's Monday morning tonic. My name is Akinola Florence. And this morning we'll be talking about us finding peace in the midst of storm. It seems impossible, but yes, it is possible. Let's take a look at the story of Jesus and, and the disciples. When they were crossing to the other side of the river, there came a great storm in Matthew 8 verse 24 to 27. But guess what? Jesus was sleeping in the midst of storm. What a great peace. But the, the disciples had to call out because they were afraid. Jesus Master, alas, we perish. But Jesus got up and calmed the sea. But what really got me there in that chapter of the, of the Bible is Jesus was sleeping. There came, the, the storm was so heavy, but still he was sleeping in the midst of storm. I'll read from Isaiah 43 verse 2 and it says, When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. What a great promise of peace to us as children of God. He said to us, rejoice. He has overcome the world. He says you should not be anxious for nothing, but by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, make your request known to God. Our challenges, our everyday life challenges can represent storm in our life. It could be loss of job, it could be sickness, it could be, um, it could be delay that represents storm challenges in your life. But relax, rejoice. He said he has overcome the world. At every point or at any time of our life, there could be storm. Storm may arise, but God has promised us peace. He says, my peace I give unto you, not the peace that the world can afford. The peace of God is one of the promises of God to us as his children. And real peace does not mean it's not the calm. Real peace is the presence of God in your storm. But my question is, are you allowing God in your storm? Look at Peter. He was able to walk on waters because his focus was on Jesus in the middle of the storm. But immediately he shifts his focus from Jesus. He began to drown. And that's one, one, number one thing you should do. Anytime you find yourself in challenges in the middle, in the midst of storm. Keep your gaze, keep your focus on God. Don't shift your focus on God. Keep trusting him. Trust God, trust his word. You can have peace in the midst of storm when you know God is in control. And how do you know God is in control? It is true, his word and all of his promises to us as his children. Do not stay in fear. Where is your faith? You should activate your faith in the midst of of your storm be assured of god's goodness in your life recognize that god is in control god is in your storm you are not alone he has promised us his peace and it is available for every one of us and i pray that the peace of the lord will rest upon us in the midst of storm and i decree into the life of us men that are watching me that the storm in your life the storm is over right now i said to your life i speak to your life right now and i said peace be still in the name of jesus so rejoice he has overcome the world no matter the challenges the trouble the storm whatever it is keep your focus on God because he's in control. Allow him in your storm. Give him space in your heart. He will take control of everything. Be rest assured. Rejoice for he has overcome the world. So see you next week, same time. Bye.